Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, what do you guys think? Want to do? Ooh. Okay, oh, let's let's get the votes. Let's let's see. We maybe we could vote or we can think. Like. Yeah, this is not Zevin's most comfortable moment. I think. I think. I think we're positional players, right? Because our figure read my system, and you played the French. And you Jackson. play the French, but I don't know what Jacker is. I yeah. play the Kurokan. Kurokan. Like yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so we can play. The... Yeah, Kurokan or Sicilian, anything is fine, really. All right, I'll just do the Kurokan. I don't know. I don't want to do Sicilian with Zavin. Sounds good. Huh? All right. Oh, D five guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's go D five. All right, E five. There's about five normal stuff. Sure. So do I have a copy of that? <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Bishop f5. All right, it's normal mainline it's stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. H5. H5. H5? H5? Okay, yeah. got. It. So we have that and h6. I don't know. So Jack sure would know this yeah. better. I I like the systems where you. I think he's going for like like if you play h5, he's going to play bishop d3 and bishop g5 lines. Mm -hmm. And I like the lines where you play like. Uh, Queen a5, queen a6, or queen b b6, queen a6, and you get some pressure. Okay, so h5. So I like this h5 line, but I mean, it's up to you guys. I I think I know the theory quite well, at least. Okay. I trust you. Uh, okay, yeah. I trust you too. We'll see what he plays. I have to trust you guys because I don't know any theory <laughs> in the Garo Okay. <laughs> yeah, just well, save you for later. <laughs> it's okay. Um. Now Ooh. what, Jackster? Take trade yeah, or not? Just take take. Take an e6. Take an e6. Take an e6. Take, not take and then, then play e6 if he takes to the queen. Oh, okay. Then e6. Okay. Very good. Yeah, okay. Right. And he plays this oh, bishop g5. Bishop g5. Yeah, this is what I expected. I think we can either, either play queen b6 or queen a5. Okay. So I Maybe, think. Maybe. I think I play queen b6 here, but. Yeah. So uh, it it attacks b2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Prepares queen a6. Yeah, queen b6, and he, he has to play knight d2, I think, and queen a6, c4 is the line. Mm -hmm. If, if I, I remember correctly. But uh, yeah. We could also play play with c5, which is very aggressive. Uh, queen b6, knight d2, c5. Uh -huh. It's also possible. So, But uh, yeah, we could start with queen b6 and then figure out what we want to play. Yeah, for sure. Play pressure. Yeah. Okay, so here. E5 now or no? Yeah, C5 is a line, I think. It gets very sharp and... Oh, no. I'm not so <laughs> sure. So I, I like Queen A6 is sort of the more positional approach, I think. Oh, okay. Or, I don't know. I think I feel safer with Queen A6. Yeah, me too. So <laughs> okay. you guys are down. Yeah, we'll try to pl I'll play in an endgame together. Oh, C4. He said no. Yeah, so this is the... And it's. I think we play with the... So it goes bishop b4, b3, and then we go like knight e7, and we eventually break with like c5 and stuff. I so, see. Uh, it's been a while since I looked at all this, but yeah. It just starts with bishop b4 at least, if you guys are done. Okay, I agree. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> He's playing s and move, so you know yeah. the theory. <laughs> so yeah, here we have to start thinking, I think. Cause... Uh huh, yeah. It's either like I think both ninety seven and even immediately playing c five is possible. Maybe there's a couple of op options there. I think. Mm. Yeah. So okay. So if they go and take an e seven, I don't know if he, I don't think he's going to do that. He's taking it back to the bishop, right? If they yeah, take bishop, an e seven, uh, maybe even king is possible as well. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think both are possible. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So. It. Yeah. Just you guys decide if you want to play c five or ninety seven. Yeah, what do you I, think, Andrew and Horega? Mm -hmm. I was I was thinking about knight. <clears throat> what about knight knight h six? So uh, you know, if he captures mm -hmm. the bishop, we don't have to uh, put our king uh, uh, on e seven. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting I mean, concept, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's interesting actually. He probably doesn't that, know too much about that move either. I've had to guess. Yeah, the idea is probably, uh, you know, just to get the knight on, on f5, a strong square, if he doesn't capture with the bishop. Uh, so... Mm -hmm. I think he's going to capture, I think. 
Yeah, I, I don't think they usually capture if you play 97 either, so I'm not sure it makes such a big difference, but yeah, you, I mean, you could play knight f6. If he if he captures, then uh, maybe we can just capture with the rook, or mm -hmm. uh, sure. yeah, probably with the rook because you know we want to keep guard of the pawn on h5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so knight h6, guys. Yeah. Also, one idea for white is easier to play rook h3 sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering. Okay, it's not as inspired here. Follow up with plan i5. I well, think yeah. The... <clears throat> Avoid there is also g4 to consider, knight g4 and knight f5. I mean, both squares look uh, pretty stable for the knight. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think knight f5, just because we have h5 included, is more yeah. slightly inclined. To, but... Yeah, yeah I, think, I, I, I think we, yeah. we play to f5. But maybe we yeah. should consider c5 immediately as well if we... Okay. Well, he so... can take on C down D five. Uh, or wait, oh he can't because it's pinned. Okay. Yeah, yeah, pen, yeah. yeah. Pen, okay. So if you do that, if you do I like it. D takes C instead. D takes C, yeah. And then maybe knight C six. Mm-hmm. Knight six. I don't know if that matters. Um not sure. I think we have a window over here to get the knight to f5 because, you know, if he captures with a bishop, I don't think our rook is going to be all that uh, well placed on uh, h6. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, sure. I'm, I'm worried about that myself. Yeah, yeah play knight f5. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, this is seven. <laughs> He's going for a dirty flag, it seems. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> it definitely. Well, the knight is unpinned. I'm um, not sure what that entails. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think eventually he's going to to maybe play a3, so, and we have to trade off for bishop, so he... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then maybe c5 isn't as easy to get through, is what I'm saying, basically. Yeah. So maybe we have to play c5 straight away. Yeah, it's seeming c5. like it's more needed, maybe. C five a three, yeah. yeah. Then we to contest the space advantage, but um, we play something like that. But I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, I haven't played this with the knight knight five, so maybe we could just castle and play very solid as well. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play tactically. Well, when you're not sure. <laughs> okay. I'm slightly worried about castling. Just, uh, I guess it's fine. But, um, yeah, he just rook to you one, so he wants to maybe something like a up up d file. He wants to threaten d takes c. I don't know if that actually is a threat. Never mind. Um, so can we develop the knight to d7? Connect the rooks. Uh, but yeah. where would the knight go from d7, though? That's yeah, I don't see a good future for the knight. That's a good point. Uh, knight on d7, I mean, it develops the knight so, and connects the rook, but where, where is it going to go in the future? So the thing yeah. is, the plan is we're going to have rook c8, knight f8, knight g6, and attacking h4, putting pressure with two pieces. So it's a long-term thing. So knight g7, rook F C eight, knight F eight, knight G six. Okay. At least that does something. <laughs> We're getting lower on time too. We have to be aware of that. Yeah, so yeah. we need to have a plan. You're probably gonna play A three next, by the way. I know. Yeah. That's guess. So. So at least rook C eight. Yeah. Rook, okay. I guess that's fine. Rook C eight. I guess. Yeah. So uh, keep options open for if he takes on C on there, but. He goes there. I don't know if he wants to go there and trade off their knight. Okay. Yeah, CD is also possible because the queen is supported by the rope, so we need to be aware of that. Okay. Um. Hmm. I guess we just continue with 97 here. I don't really see. Yeah, I do agree. Okay. Okay, a trade or not a trade? Is that is the question? We we can't retreat. Well, they can do that one, but this passive. I think we have yeah. to, but I don't know. And this but guy's in uh, on pre. Does it matter if so? He might get the F file. He might incl be inclined to play G six at some point, weakening all the dark squares. But I don't know if that's mattering. But this guy is making me scared of his talking the star squares. But so I think that we need to take the knight. I think we yeah yeah we, we take the knight. 
Uh, that opens up the F. Uh, now I am a bit concerned because there is a rook that is going to come up over there probably. Yeah. So we, if we count, we're up a pawn. So he goes there. So we do we just take three is a threat. Rook d3. All right. So do we oh, take an, with knight? No, no. Then bishop before. Okay. Yeah, bishop before also. So we have to be careful. Take um, e5 still. And yeah. Or knight, knight e5. Or knight e5. I want to defend this guy, but it's attacking the rook. So also defending against f3. Oh, this Ooh, is a pin. Okay. Oh yeah, I missed that. Hmm. What about rook d7? Yeah, rook d7 I prefer. Yeah, rook d7. Yeah. It's solid. Yeah, but now the weakness has changed. Now he's got h7, king h8, if he wants, maybe. I'm not afraid of that one, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Give me some last words. Rook f7, rook f5 in some cases. So. Mm-hmm. Huh? That's true. Yeah, Quasi 6. Yeah. That happened.